So this is what I'm looking at every day when I come out here. It ain't nothing but chickens. They hear that little ding from the security thing on the door and they come running. What do y'all want? You guys want some food? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big Mike here. Yep, every morning it's chickens at the back door. Terry sneaks out here, lets them out. I come out here and all they want to do is eat the farmer. But they want to get fed and I'm going to feed them. But today we're going to talk about or we're going to review and talk about rabbit hutches. And if you're starting out with rabbits, things you should know about when you go to Tractor Supply or one of these other box stores and you're buying rabbit cages instead of making your own. And we did that and we made that mistake and it's a lot of work. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. First of all, we're gonna feed these chickens, find Georgie wherever he's at, cause I don't see him. And uh, we're gonna see baby chicks. Hey, so stay tuned. Guys, it's a beautiful day in Oklahoma. No more rain. It has been horrible with the rain. Hey, but on the bright side, if you're living on a well, this is the perfect type of weather to replenish your well. The water seeps down in there and fills up those well caverns. And hey, that's the only bright side I can see. Other than that, it's just mud and mess. So let's go in here and let's feed these chickens. All right, guys. <laughs> Y'all gotta give me some room there. Okay? You guys want some food? You guys want some food? There you go. There you go. Come on over here, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. All right, so that's done. Now, here's one thing I forgot. I told everybody that we bought a, oh, what do they call that thing? A wireless microphone for our phones and stuff like that. Again, I left it in the house. So remember what I sound like now and what do I sound like now? And how do I sound now? So hopefully you can tell the difference in the audio uh, because I've got my little lapel thing on. We're gonna see how this works for the first time. When I seen it over at Backroads Freedom, I mean, he just came in loud and clear and the distance that you can walk away from the camera is incredible. So here's what we're gonna do. We just fed the chickens, found Georgie, and he's sitting there, he comes in here, nibbles a little bit then he wants to go back outside with his chicken buddies um so we're gonna do that we're gonna check on the quail we're gonna look at the baby chicks baby chicks thank you chrissy for uh selling terry more chickens so and if you remember we did we talked about it was either on one of our lives or whatever we talked about we put 20 chicken eggs in there one hatched one and so, and it's a pure Americana because it's FDR, one of our Americanas. So then Terry went up there and got more Americanas oh, and some other fluffy butts. I don't even know what the names are. And she'd probably correct me anyway. So, hey guys, let's go over here and let's look at this rabbit hutch or rabbit cage. And let me tell you the pros and cons of buying those from the box store. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're not. But if you have your rabbits indoors, you don't want them pooping on the floor. And we've got all the lumber and everything to build a rabbit palace outside for them. So we're moving forward. It's been a long road, it's been so busy, but we're gonna get there and we're gonna start putting out more videos on our rabbits, the build of the cage, and we're probably gonna do a extension of the uh, hen house because it's getting way too busy in there, guys. So, hey, here we go. Let's talk about this 
uh, rabbit cage and which one you should or you shouldn't get or should you make your own. And let's move on to the baby chicks. So there's the baby chick chicks um, Terry bought. Uh, the one that's, well, he's the one in the back. That's the one she hatched out. He looks a little, he's smaller than the other ones. Uh, but those are the chicks we got. We got a heat lamp here for them. If it gets too cold, they got plenty of water and they're eating and they're eating and they're eating. And uh, we got this all cleaned out for them and uh, put one uh, tractor supply shaving bag in there and it was all fluffed up and they've already pounded it down and uh, they've been having fun doing chick things. You guys want to say anything to anybody? Yeah, that one that's right there in the front, right there moving, that littlest one, that's the one Terry hatched out. So I hope you can see this. This is a rabbit pen that's sold by Tractor Supply, okay? Very easy to assemble. Uh, one thing that I will tell you to do is once you do it, you need to wire the corners and the sides um, of these uh, cages. Uh, and we used a, just a regular baling, but it has that rubber sheath on top of it. And you put it together because I'm telling you something, you got to lift this off and you got to put it back on there. These things get bent. Uh, so that's what we did on both sides of this. Uh, that's one, one negative thing about these cages. You'll see them at Tractor Supply. They're over by the, the rabbit stuff. And then what happens is, what happened is, is you build this and then they sell you a tray where all the droppings and the urine and everything else goes into. And you talk about a freaking mess. Guys, worst design in the world. So now you have to lift this off of this tray. You have to pick up that tray and balance it with all the urine and the poop and everything else that's in there. Uh, and then go scrape it out and then wash it out and then bring it back. Okay, so my recommendation is not to get these. Okay, if you're starting out um, with rabbits and you don't have a rabbit palace or anything like that, we've had these in here for over a year. And I'm going to tell you something. So we've had these cages in here for over a year. And by far, out of this one and the dog kennels, okay, I said dog kennels, the dog kennel one has worked the best. Now, you still have to come out here every single day and remove the, the, the litter pan that's underneath there uh, and change it out. But you don't have to lift the cage up and you don't have to go over there and walk with this gigantic plastic thing Hopefully you don't spill urine all over the floor. Uh, we use a wheelbarrow and then we change that out every other day or something like that uh, with the, the shavings and stuff like that from the rabbits. So if it was me and I didn't have this gigantic palace I built outside, and I think the reason I haven't built it is because this is too convenient. We, had, we found some old tables, we just set them on there now, the only downside of it is the bottom part of the dog kennel has bigger holes and a rabbit can get out because it hangs on both sides of the table. But our rabbits just sit there and they're used to it now. Uh, and then the baby rabbits, they have a different pen uh, when they're growing out until they get big enough. They don't fit through the, the slots and stuff like that. So if it was me and I was starting out and I wanted a quick, easy way to house rabbits, I would get a dog kennel. That's it, get a dog kennel. Uh, they have the removable tray underneath there and you can change that out so they're not living in filth and stuff like that. That's just my recommendation. Take it, leave it, don't care. Uh, I just know that it's still a lot of work. 
when we finally finish our rabbit palace, we will still have to put, and we've already, I've already figured out which ones I want. They're like a half tub and you slide it underneath there and you can just take those out, dump them in the wheelbarrow and take them away. I just don't want poop build up on the, the ground underneath it and urine and stuff like that because after a while it just attracts every animal there is, especially coyotes. They know the difference between rabbit urine and whatever urine, okay? They know. So that's just my recommendation for you guys. Uh, do not get these. Now, these would be good, okay, if you built a metal uh, or a wood frame type structure that these could sit on outside and you could attach these to that so they don't get knocked over and stuff like that. You may have an outdoor area that has a roof okay, like uh, a barn and it has an overhang and you just want to set your rabbits out there, that's perfectly fine. You can buy these, okay, set them on a, a wooden frame type thing, like all, all five of these right here, if you had a wooden frame and you can just set them on there and they can, it, the poop goes right through, then that would work perfect. But buying the tray if you're gonna be inside is absolutely a living nightmare don't like it don't like it at all and that's why we're going to start working on the rabbit palace to be outside will it attract coyotes we don't know do we have a lot of them here yes we do okay but mikey's got a solution for that and coyotes don't like my solution so all right let's check these guys out all right so this is the nightmare i'm talking about okay this is the tray that that thing sets on. It's like a balancing act. It don't fit inside of it, it sets on top of it. And that was the purpose of it. So the cage itself is really sturdy. I don't have a problem with it. It's absolutely a good cage. Um, the water, the feeders. I don't like the feeders on the inside, but this way we have to, cause that's really, I don't wanna, I didn't wanna ruin the uh, cage itself right now, because it's not the permanent location. Um, feeders hook onto it, just perfect. A lot of waste, as everybody knows with rabbits. Um, there's Elvis. Elvis lives in one of these slide out trays. So let me see if I can hold this. And what I was talking about slide out trays is this slides out. And once you slide that out, you can just dump it in the wheelbarrow like we do, and then we take it out there to the compost. Okay, and we haven't done that this morning, but we will show you how we do that. Um, male rabbits are absolutely messy. There's Olaf. Wait a minute, this is Elvis. That's Olaf. Elvis, Olaf. Olaf is a, uh, they call him a Rex, so I guess he's like a mix or whatever. And um, Elvis here is a, uh, a Flemish uh, giant, they call him. And that's, that's Elvis's son right there, that uh, his markings are just like his dad's. So, because if you look at him, hey guy, Hey, if you look at him with his face and his ear markings, well, come on. And you look at him, they're almost identical. And that's the mama. Hey, mama. That's Rachel. And she's a New Zealand Rex. So she's a New Zealand mixed with some kind of barnyard rabbit, <laughs> I guess. So that's that. And then that is, that is Elvis's son. Uh, he, he's got markings like his mama, except he's just chocolate. And then he's got a lighter chocolate markings just like she does. So somewhere down the line, it went from white to this one and they're all from Elvis. So, hey guys. This is the setup we have. Um, 
It is messy. you got to keep up on it or you have the smell inside. Uh, but this is just our shop, so we're fine with that. We'll open up these roll-up doors right here and let it air out. Uh, that's our burn pile over there. So we got to start burning some trash. It's getting bad. Boat. It's doing boat things, I guess. It's got a lot of dust on it. But we'll wash it down and do all that. Now, here's one thing. People have asked us, hey, where does Georgie sleep? And where does... There's Georgie over there. Look at him. He's just chilling out. Chilling like a villain, huh, Georgie? Um, but Georgie comes in here when it's raining and tornado activity and stuff like that. But that's where Georgie sleeps. He sleeps inside a birthing box for the rabbits. That's exactly where he sleeps. Uh, he'll, he'll come in here when it's raining. He'll get in there and he does not come out. So, Georgie, isn't that right? You don't like it when it rains, do you, Georgie? And that thunder. But that's Georgie. He's a good cat. You gonna say hello, Georgie? No? Are you sitting on top of the mixer that I've not put together yet? And I've had it for over a year? <laughs> I know. I think you're disappointed in me, huh, Georgie? So there you go. Georgie's happy, aren't you happy? He looks like a cross-sided, Clarence the cross-sided lion. Remember that on the show when we were little kids? I can't remember what it was called, Doctare or whatever it's that. Georgie's cross-sided. Yeah. But, hey, guys, if you want to get into rabbits, just understand the mess that you're in store for. Okay? Rabbits are messy quail are messy but if you're raising them for freezer camp to to feed your family and stuff it's well worth it okay it is well worth it um it just takes some work and you got to get used to it not everybody's meant for it uh make sure you wear gloves because you're going to get stuff on them and uh, that's all i can really say about that but when you're doing your rabbits before you get rabbits Decide on how you're going to house them, where you're going to house them, and how you're going to clean up the mess before you even get them. Because a lot of people get them, they don't know what they're in store for, and then, okay, they either release them into the wild, uh, and then they start mixing in with the, the wild rabbits and stuff like that. Uh, but make your decisions. Hey, and those baby chicks... Got to love a baby chick. Hey, guys, thanks for coming along. Um, I know this was probably all over the place, but hey, that's Big Mike, right? Welcome to Farm Life. All right, guys, we love you. Be kind to one another. Help someone in need, and always, always think of that. Hey, guys, God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Look at those baby chicks. They're sleeping in the heat. They're sleeping in the heat. Let's disturb them. Let's disturb the chick chicks. Hey, chicky chickies. Look at them. They're soaking up the heat. They're soaking up the heat.